right, here is the video review for Iron Factory's Steel Lucifer, um, the number IFEX14L. So it is numbered as a repaint, and, it, and for the most part, repaint slash remold, and it kind of is, um, of their War Within Optimus with the armor and everything. But as you see, it is Nova Prime. And a lot of you may be asking yourself, did Iron Factory just completely drop the ball with this release? And the answer is nope, because uh, he's actually pretty cool. You can see here he is in his full-on vehicle mode. You can see the wings here making up the side of the trailer. But pretty solid. Now, he doesn't have, because of the way he connects these pieces, the whole trailer kind of plugs in here on the sides of his legs. He doesn't have any... You can't turn the cab. But all in all, he's a pretty cool, pretty cool looking armored truck. Um, his base robot here is essentially... I don't know that there's any mold changes aside from maybe the head. It's basically the War Within Optimus Prime mold, but all the stuff back here, maybe the feet are, are the same. Nope, there's, no, there's some differences. Yeah, they may be the same. But um, you got the whole wing pack and everything here, which is really cool. Definitely a different waist plate uh, and chest and all that. But yeah, so here he is in vehicle mode. And that's about what you got. If you want to, you can flip the uh, top wing, quote unquote, feathers up and angle them up like that. He's also got his guns here that store inside. So from the front, if, we, if you consider that all, the, if all these wings are guns, then he's pretty heavily armed coming at you. But yeah, not a whole lot of, aside from moving the feathers here, uh, you can, if you want to, flip these up and have some kind of glowy yellow taillight, translucent yellow taillights, transparent yellow taillights, and have them up if you prefer them like that. Uh, officially, the instructions have these folded down and kind of sticking out the back here. And that's about it for his vehicle mode, or at least his fully trailered vehicle mode. It's possible, with a little bit of wiggling, you might be able to uh, untab this from the leg and pull this off. But basically, the, the lower leg pieces are pegged in here to the vehicle mode, and then this part of the trailer tabs into the top, or pegs into the top. So to start transforming him, you go ahead and just kind of wiggle the whole wing assembly here, uh, untab the wing from here, and tab the wing from over here, and then just kind of pull it, wiggle this up out of the, um, there we go. You can see there's two tabs here on the backpack. These little thrusters fold up, and then uh, yeah, they peg into, you can see the little peg holes down here in the bottom on the legs, and then you can uh, untab each separate leg armor piece like that. These don't peg together. I, I, it would have been nice if they maybe had a little peg there to hold these together down here. But once you have the uh, the, the rest of the trailer pegged in, it holds this together pretty solidly. Um, you can, because there's that little tab on, on the, uh, that goes into the wing here, you can still kind of, and, and even this, you can, once you have it detached, you, you have to pull it apart. To, these pegs are long enough to get them out. But if you want to just have the trailer sitting off to the side, you can tab those back in and just kind of set it off. And then you just got the kind of small war within prime. Almost kind of looks like ultra, like an Ultra Magnus in this case, a little white prime. There's not a whole lot to distinguish him as Nova Prime, aside from maybe the yellow. And transform him. Let's go ahead and untab, wiggle, uh, unpeg the arms from here on the sides of the waist. Flip them out to the side. Go ahead and lift this panel up. Slide, slide his kneecaps up there. And peg the legs from each other. These actually peg together very securely. Oh, look, that's the first time that's happened. Um, usually I do not pop things off. So, of course, it happens while I'm shooting the video because that's just how things go. But untab the legs. They do tab together very securely. I'm going to extend them. Out like that. Flip the toes up and around to face forward. Same over here. Fully extend his feet. Although this came off the, the track there. There's little, you can see the little tracks that these slide up in. So bring those down, rotate them around at the waist. Fold, I'll look at this out of the way here. Fold this whole assembly down. Sometimes his head will get stuck in there. And then you can lift this panel down like this. And this panel collapses up kind of underneath that like that onto his back. Bring the arms around and tab them into the sides here. And again, because his, his head is just wide enough that it kind of gets stuck in between here, 
but uh, you can flip this panel out. I may need to get a little tool here to pop this thing out. There we go. And once you got it, get, it, get it set up there, you can flip this whole panel around. Oh, come on. Okay, we'll just push a little bit further. There we go. Pop this up, flip his head up. Pop it back into place. Fold his torso down. And you can you can see there's a gap here. That's for connecting. One, to give it the clearance to rotate up in vehicle mode and also to connect the chest plate with the armor. When you snap that down, bring his arms down, rotate them around at the elbow, and then rotate. So these, these ports are on the outside. Rotate his wrists. These are very tight. Make sure those stay tabbed in. And I rotated that the wrong way because I hadn't done his elbow yet, so now I gotta do it again. There we go. And there he is in his robot mode, which again you can see is just the repaint. It looks like he even has the same head, a repaint of the War Within Prime mold. He's got the waist swivel. He's got a little ball-jointed head. No, don't go down in there. Don't go down in there. Come back up. Come back up, head. There we go. There we go. ball joint head. Uh, ball joints at the shoulders, which are a little tight. He's also got the swivel around the wheel, so you get a little bit of range of motion there as well. Um, as well as out of the ball joint. We can flip his arm all the way forward on that. Bicep swivel actually is really just above the elbow swivel, although it looks like there may be a bicep swivel in there as well. Nope, that's where the, just where the elbow joint goes in. R the wrist swivel, which is really tight. Um, and it may just be because it's a newer figure and I've played with the other ones more. The waist swivel, ball joint hips, thigh swivel, hinge knees to just a little over 90 degrees, and then the, the ball joint in the foot, as well as the hinge here on the toe. So you can get him in some kind of dynamic poses, um, but a little limited, which is on a figure this size. He's about... In this mode, he's about four inches tall. He gets a little bigger with the armor. He comes with, we'll go ahead and start opening up this armor. So lift these up and pop the wings open. And in here, holding the chest plate on, there's little tabs here. Tabs on this and tabs on this that tab into either side of the rifles. He's got a couple of two different rifles. One has, you can see it has a little hollow circle on the back. And you can wield those in robot mode. And he's pretty cool right there just by himself. Although, again, it would not be wrong to mistake this as a possible just inner robot for Ultra Magnus paint. He also comes with a white and transparent blue uh, Mega Sword, which also can turn into a smaller sword and an axe for him to hold. You can push that through and then reattach this if you want to give it a long-handled axe. You can hold the sword as well, kind of. Oh, actually, no. You take that, put that on the axe, put this on the sword. There we go. And you can hold both of those weapons at the same time in a smaller robot form. And of course, he's got the trailer. So we'll go ahead and turn this back into the, the giant sword. Also, his two rifles, uh, the one in the circle stays in the back, can combine into one larger rifle. I really dig the look of these rifles. I like the design on them. And then it gets a much longer rifle there. And then to turn him into uh, the fully armored version, it's actually pretty simple. Fold the toes all the way back in. Make sure they go all the way up. Don't, don't break it, but push it up as stiffly as you can. You want to get these folded all the way back up. And then fold his head back in. Bring this whole panel forward. Fold his head down. Push it back into there like that and then extend, like pull the chest up again, so you've got this gap here. And then you take the torso piece, fold his com his armored head up, you can see that's different with the wings and everything, very Nova Primish, and just then slide that into the gap and clip it over the chest. And coming back here, we'll take the trailer apart, go ahead and pull off the waist piece out of the back, it just slots in right there. Uh, pull uh, 
Oh, we, we plugged it back into the legs, so go ahead and pop these legs back off. Pull those down, set those off to the side, flip these panels up, come under here, wiggle out his shoulder armor. They just go in by the smokestacks here, pegged into the back, and then the arms clip together and slot into this. You can see there's tabs here that slot into this backpack right here. Fold the thrusters down, fold this panel down, and we'll deal with the wings here in a minute. Oh, pull these apart, take this gray piece, and fold it back in, and again, tab it in here. It's the same tab that tabs into the wing in trailer mode. And now we're good to go. So we'll take that, and then each one of these uses this peg right here to peg on to the side of the leg, which gives him a little extended height. Like that. Go ahead and plug the waist piece on. Just goes right over. Again, this little square piece just slots right into there. Just like that. The arm covers, there's a panel down here you open up. And there's a tab or peg inside there that uh, his hand grabs onto. Then close that panel shut over it. I really like that they have that panel there. They could have just left that open because the tab to connect it is up here and it it's not part of the hinge. So well, it is part of the hinge, but it doesn't rotate with the hinge. So they could have just left that panel off, but I like that they give you a full panel to really wrap all the way around the arm. Like that. Shoulder armor pieces, just use these little, these little smokestacks actually function as pegs and slide up into here. As well as there's a couple square holes that these peg into. Like that. And then you just take the backpack. And again, before we get before we attach it, it kind of almost kind of looks like the vulture backpack, but you can spread it out like this. Um, all of these are on hinges. They tab together for uh, trailer mode. But you can make those as just about as wide as you'd want to, or collapse them down. It's got a hinge right here, so when it's connected, you can angle the wing back a little bit. And then it's got a ball joint on the back side so you can you can bring this forward a little bit and then hinge it back you can fold the wings down to its side if you want and, uh, and I'll show you all this in robot mode as well but I wanted to get a clear view of it without this whole robot boom taking up this uh, here but then you see there's a peg hole right here and it just pegs right onto this part of his back just like that and again there you have uh, Nova Prime or Steel Lucifer all winged up and he looks awesome look at that you got the transparent yellow here on the guns or the wings uh, some of it in these little back flaps as well and uh he just looks kind of ba i mean like sure the backpack's plugged in all the way and of course he can wield both the larger sword or you can have and wield all these weapons as their individual selves as well. But he looks cool. I really love the blue on this sword and his longer rifle. Whoop, knocked him over. It happens. And he retains pretty much all the same posability as before. He's got a ball jointed head up here so he can look around. Uh, you've got all the articulation in the backpack. And again, if you wanted to have these folded down by his side, you can do that as well for when he's not being like a menacing angel of doom. Personally, I like them all spread out, but hey, that's just me. Um, but he still retain. He doesn't have the wrist articulation anymore. These arm covers are all one solid piece, so he loses that. But uh, everything else pretty much stays the same. He's got ankle tilt. He doesn't have the toe articulation front to back, but he does still have some ankle tilt there in his lower leg armor, and everything else remains the same. Because uh, it's just using the same joints of the, as the base robot. So yeah, really cool looking. Um, I did mention that his, his base body is just the repaint of the War Within Prime, who came with his own armor set. And that's about the same height. Prime actually ends up being at the head a little, just a smidge taller, uh, but with the wings 
uh, steel lucifer ends up being tall unless of course you take these guns and point them straight up and then prime wins again so it's really up to you because they share the same base body you can swap any of these armors around like if i wanted to give uh, steel lucifer prime his backpack and give prime the winged back Ooh, i actually haven't done this yet so this might actually look pretty cool uh you can give prime the winged backpack and you could give steel lucifer the god Jinrai backpack or any combination as such and again because they do share all those same pieces uh just like you could do with the prime uh, you can take their Skyfire and you can give Nova Prime that backpack as well. <laughs> and and any of the, if you take these arm pieces off, you can give him the guns, you can give him, you can take the leg pieces off and give him the leg armor. All the armor parts um, on these, these three figures, you can swap around however you want, which I'll probably keep them on their intended figures, but... Uh, it, the Nova Prime actually looks pretty. The the reds kind of sticks out on him, but like Nova Prime looks pretty cool with that backpack. <laughs> you're, you're you're learning about it with me. Like I knew you could do it, but I hadn't actually swapped anything around until just now. So that's the first time I'm seeing these guys with all the various uh, armors swapped around on them as well. Like I have to say, I, I, I do prefer them all with their original armor sets, but man, I really, I really dig how that Jetfire backpack looked on, uh, looked on Nova Prime there. But yeah, it's, I, I always say this, but I really do enjoy all the stuff that Iron Factory is putting out. I can't wait for their uh, DJD combiner. I think it looks great. Um, I'm curious as to how, the, how they're going to color them because some of the colors are going to be a little off. Uh, because, you know, Kaon, who forms the, uh, what is, which part did I realize Kaon forms? I think Kaon actually, oh, Kaon turns into his backpack guns for the big combined Tarn, and he's a very red, uh, like maroony red color, whereas Tarn in the comics is, like, all purple and grays, so I'm curious as to what it's going to, and, and uh, uh, is it Helix or Tesserus is, is a dark blue, which I can see working uh, on, on the combined Tarn. We'll, we'll have to see how it works. Like, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how the color works on that. But just sculpt-wise, from what we've seen, I'm really excited about that. Um, they've got that jazz coming out. Um, everything they've, they've, they've put out, I've actually quite enjoyed. I really do like this scale. I, I'm, I love seeing all these companies starting to put out some really fun, articulated figures with not simple transformations at this smaller size scale. He's about... When you, when you, with all the armor onto the top of his head, he's about exactly five inches. And then with the wings, again, you can get a little extra height out of him. But um, just a really great scale to have a, a, a really diverse and interesting collection on, your, on one shelf as opposed to buying larger versions of these guys. Like, you know, the, uh, the Fans Hobby Power Master Prime is, is huge. And, like, you could, you'd have him and their double evil, their overlord is look is, is, is big. I saw it at TFCon in D.C. last year. Um, and there's something to be said for big robots. I'm not knocking anybody who enjoys the larger scale robots. They're very impressive. But uh, as a house with ever-shrinking space, partly because of just the, you know, the collection as well as the fact that Niblet's growing up and is going to be a teenager soon and is, you know, there's just a lot of stuff in the house, so having a scale where I can get a lot of the characters and designs that I like, that are fun to play with, and fit in a much smaller space, I'm really digging it. Uh, so just if you if there's if, if you don't like Steel Lucifer, but you've seen another Iron Factory figure that kind of catches your eye, check it out because they're for the size they're surprisingly intricate and fun. They're poseable. And I do really like, like I said, I, I really like the idea of a, of a collection of what could literally be warring factions, like not just a couple of big guys on a shelf that you could have like a whole army's facing off in a smaller scale that are still very uh, detailed and fun toys. Steel Lucifer is another release in that line that fits right into that description. And uh, I really like him. I might like him more than Prime. 
I've, I've always kind of dug that Nova Prime design with the, with those wings. Uh, Make Toys did a really good one uh, that that was a really nice rendition of Nova Prime too. I loved how they did those wings. But this guy, like I said, for the size and the fun, the the core robot being just a repaint of Prime could be a little cooler. But when you get all the armor on him, like this guy definitely shines. There it is, Iron Factory IFEX14L Steel Lucifer.